Hey everyone, um, today I am going to be digging and dividing and storing my dahlias. So I'm in my dahlia patch here. It's been about a week or two since uh, frost, so they're looking pretty black, which is something that you want. It sends the message that they're going into hibernation and um, it will cure the tubers a little bit before um, storage and hopefully make them last through storage. Um, inside over winter. So um, here in 4B we have to dig um, and store them. They don't survive a freeze. Um, the tubers will turn to mush. So um, I'll show you what I did to prep them here so far. So while the tubers were still growing um, and I could tell what type they were by the flower and I'll actually probably do this even earlier next year because some of them weren't flowering when I was doing this, um, is that I have a numbering system for all mine, so I numbered them as to what kind they were. This is just pink um, surveyor's tape, and then this is with a garden marker so that it's um, permanent. I do also have their original tags in them, so some of them I um, know for sure what they were even if they weren't blooming. So all of these are marked down below like that. So I'm just going to go through and cut the tops off now. Um, I'm still going to leave a little bit of top just so that we know where they are for sure when we dig them and um, it's a good handle to grab them on as well. Okay, so we're going to dig our dahlias now. So we're going to start... Um, we just have a shovel. Um, the pitchfork that has like the four tines that are thicker are a lot better for this, but I do not have that. So we're using a shovel. So we're going to start about a foot out, um, which is going to be a little tough in here. They're pretty packed in um, and go straight down and just loosen a little bit all the way around um, and just go slowly and try not to break any of the tubers in the process of removing it. So we got it loose. Um, now we're just gonna very gently remove the dirt from here so that we can um, see the tubers. So they're all in there. And this one was a very round tuber last year, looks like they are this year too. So there's all kinds of them in there. So then this will go to the rinse. Next step here is to rinse them off. You got some rinsed off here. So um, just a gentle stream does the trick here, but you want to try to get all of the dirt off. Okay, so the tubers are rinsed off and um, are now inside. You can wait up to probably a day to let them dry like this. Um, we're gonna split some of these right away just because we have so many to do. So a few things to watch out for. Um, so like this is a broken neck that's not gonna give you a viable tuber. This is also a broken neck that's not gonna give you a viable tuber. Um, this one also has a lot of rot. So we're not gonna wanna save the tubers that have those brown spots on them either. Um, uh, we should probably also go over the parts of the dahlia. So this is a great example here. So we would want to cut into the stem here. Um, and these are actually eyes. Let's see if I can get a better video of this here. So those little bumps there, those are eyes that will be new stems for next year. So you could cut right down the middle of this one here. Then you have the neck here. And then this is the body of the tuber and then we're gonna cut off anything that's extra here so that it's just one little um, piece. 
So we're going to get to dividing. I think I'm going to dig some more of this one because these all look like they're a little bit rotten, which is not going to be good for storage. So I've got a couple here started. You can see I've got a part with eye potential here. Um, it's kind of hard to see them, but if you kind of divide the difference, um, you're likely to get one here. So like this one here, um, I'm just going to be cutting as close and dividing the difference and leaving stem on um, with that tuber. The other thing you want to watch out for is to toss the mother tuber, which will look more potato-like than the rest of these. Um, it will be darker, and if you push Sharpie numbers on them, it will also have that number on it so that you know it's that one. So after we get all the tubers separated and cut, I take a Sharpie and put their number, which corresponds to their name, in the document that I have. Um, this actually came in handy this year because I didn't get to mark um, a couple of them, and the mother tubers you could still read it after we rinse them off. So that's very handy in keeping them separate um, when you store them, too. So we're going to let them dry like this. Um, maybe for up to a day. Um, it really depends on where you are and what your situations are. These are already like dry to the touch for the most part. So um, the next we're going to uh, cover them in sulfur dust and then saran wrap them and get them in the refrigerator that stays between 40 and 50 degrees. So this is the sulfur that I have in here with some vermiculite and I'll toss my tubers around gently with those um, to get them coated in a dust. Now I'm just gonna wrap them individually in these. So you want to make sure that you got like a full turn um, to keep them all separate before you wrap the next one. Um, this will keep them separated if one of them rots. It won't spread to the next one. So like that. I'll just grab another one here. And you want to make sure that we're completely getting them in here. I'm doing this a little bit crooked because I can't see exactly what I'm doing. Um, and then wrap this all the way around. And then I will take an additional piece and um, wrap it the opposite direction. Um, I'll also probably put a note in here what number these are. And then these will all go. I've just got this little fridge here. Um, and I keep my high-low temp in here. Um, ooh, we got to adjust it a little bit because we don't want it to be under um, 40 degrees. So they'll go in there. I do also have the second one, um, wine fridge. It only goes down to 46. So that one's all set to go. Um, and then I will just check on them every month. All right. Thanks for joining.